ever wonder what controls how fast we move? If you look around, you will see that animals, including humans, regulate their speed of movement according to momentary needs. How does the nervous system control how fast or slow an animal moves? In this paper, we show that speed can be altered at the level of motor neurons, which are the last relay station from where the motor command goes to the muscles. Zebrafish are small bony fish that live in shallow, slowly moving streams. Even when they are only a few days old, larval zebrafish exhibit several behaviors covering a wide range of speeds. One of these behaviors is the optomotor response or OMR. OMR enables the larvae to stabilize their position in a slowly moving water current by detecting optic flow and compensating for it by swimming. We used OMR as a good handle with which we can study speed regulation in this animal. We evoke this behavior by playing gratings drifting at constant speed underneath the fish. Larvae respond to this by matching their swim speed with that of the gratings. This is important because now this allows for very tight control of swim speed under control conditions. Dopamine is an important neuromodulator of motor circuits. Dopamine acts via stimulatory D1-like receptors and inhibitory D2-like receptors. We focused on D1-like receptors in this study. We asked whether activation of D1-like receptors alters speed during OMR by applying receptor-specific agonist and antagonist. With D1-like receptor activation, zebrafish larvae were able to swim much faster even under constant grating speed. Next, we observed the fine details of how the larval tail bends when it swims using high-speed videography. For this, we embedded larvae in agarose such that their head was stuck but the tail was free to move. When OMR was evoked under these conditions, we saw that the extent to which the tail moved was larger after D1-like receptor activation when compared to control. To understand the neural basis of these changes, we recorded the motor command generated during OMR using suction electrodes. These recordings reflect the population activity of motor neurons. In response to moving gratings, larvae made several bouts of fictive swims under controlled conditions. In the same larvae, when D1-like receptors were activated, the amplitude of the population activity increased, with no change in bout number or duration. Importantly, the frequency of bursts, indicative of tail beat frequency, also did not change. This implies that in this case, speed is altered by actions downstream of the CPG or central pattern generators responsible for setting the pace of locomotion. Population activity of motor neurons can be altered by direct actions of dopamine. However, not all motor neurons are the same. Primary motor neurons participate only in very fast swimming, while secondary motor neurons of various classes fire during slow and fast swims. We asked how firing in these two groups of motor neurons changes with the increase in speed. We next recorded from single motor neurons using whole cell patch clamp technique. Under control conditions, in response to moving gratings, some secondary motor neurons fired a few spikes. Other secondary motor neurons and all primary motor neurons were silent. With D1-like receptor activation, we saw three results. One, the already active secondary motor neurons fired more spikes. Two, the silent secondary motor neurons started firing. And three, half of all primary motor neurons recorded from also started firing. These changes are due to modulation of intrinsic properties leading to a decrease in action potential latency and threshold. In addition, motor neurons also receive increased excitatory synaptic drive during OMR after D1-like receptor activation. To summarize, D1-like receptor activation increases intrinsic excitability and synaptic excitation of motor neurons during OMR, adding up to increased action potential firing. At a population level, this leads to greater recruitment. While under control conditions, only a few secondary motor neurons are active with D1-like receptor activation, both primary and secondary motor neurons are recruited 
to drive swims. This leads to greater muscle contraction and larger tail bends, ultimately causing increased displacement per swim cycle. CPGs integrate feed-forward inputs from the brain and sensory feedback to change the frequency of locomotor rhythms. These rhythms are then fed to motor neurons and then onto the muscles, such that faster rhythms lead to faster movement. What we have shown is that speed can be changed at the level of motor neurons independent of actions at the level of the CPG. Mechanisms like this could be exploited for rehabilitation after stroke or spinal cord injury.